hello year twos, I hope you are well and that you're looking after yourselves. I just wanted to say how excited I am that you are going to be in my and Mrs Crowther's class next year. We are going to have such a good year together. Now I've chosen a book to read to you today. It is normally I would choose a book with a really exciting front cover and lots of pictures inside. But this time I've chosen a book with no pictures at all. In fact, it's called The Book With No Pictures. So let's see what it's like. The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except this is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Block? Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Bluff? Wait a second. What? This isn't the kind of book I wanted, wanted to read. And I have to say, every word the book says, Uh-oh. I'm a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for me to sing you my favourite song. A song? Do I really have to sing, eh? Glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it yet, please? No? There are more pages. I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, is that so? And this kid is the smartest kid too, because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like... Oh no, here it comes. Glibdy globdy glibdy glibdy beep beep ee Badoongy face Oh my goodness Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this book is just too ridiculous to read. want to say that. Oh, so that was a bit different here twos, wasn't it? A book with no pictures. Now I look really forward to seeing you when you get to the next and you're in year three. I will see you soon. Bye!